In this video, we're going to get hypnotized by the screen. No, we're going to learn how to use Midjourney. Let's do it. Y'all ready for this? All right. So when you go to midjourney.com, or if you're a nice person, you would first go to SERP AI and look up Midjourney, and then go to midjourney.com from there. What you want to do is don't get confused by all this craziness that actually looks pretty awesome. Just sign up, join the beta, whatever it is, you're gonna get a login. And when you log in, they're gonna invite you to Discord because Midjourney is actually utilized through a Discord bot. And if those words that just came out of my mouth sounded like Egyptian, you don't know how Egyptians sound. But basically, we're gonna be using Midjourney through Discord. And Discord is this chat-like thingy that's kind of like Slack or AIM, depending on how far back you want to go. And what you do is you get invited to the Midjourney Discord. And it is fucking insane. Let me just tell you that. There's so much shit going on that when I first started this, I was like, hell no. But basically what they do is you get invited, you, and then you go into one of these newbie rooms, and it's just like a whole bunch of people making a whole bunch of shit all at once. But the way you use this is in the bottom, you type forward slash imagine, and then you give it a prompt. So you can say imagine and then, you know, whatever you want and it'll start to take your text and generate images using Stable Diffusion. And then you're sitting there in this torrential downpour of thousands of newbies just blasting this thing with images. It's just bananas. Anyways, this was my first introduction to Discord, by the way. So I was like, I don't know what I'm in right now. And it just feels like kind of like the tide pool at Raging Waters. It's just like a whole bunch of pee coming at your face at the same time. But what you can do is let's say, I don't know, let's go a prompt here. Let's say imagine a uh, flamingo sitting on top of a bear. Who knows? You can also use ChatGPT and some prompt engineering to give you better, um, <laughs> better prompts than that. But that's the essence of it right there. And what I'm going to show you next is how to get out of this clusterfuck of insanity and into a more peaceful place where you can create images. But first, let's wait to see what my picture of it. Yeah, so when I, when I was first doing this, I would like scroll up to try to find my image and then scroll down and I couldn't find it. Um, you can leave, you can just get, get the hell out of there. And that's kind of funky. You have this little inbox thing up here that shows you know what's going on. So what you wanna do though, is you want to get out of this thing and you want to go and you want to click add a server. So when you click add a server, you can create your own server and you can call it, you know, whatever you want. And then you have peace and quiet here and you can actually use Midjourney inside of your server. So I don't remember if I had to actually like allow the bot in here. Let's just do it. Create my own for me. Test. All right, cool. Yeah, okay, cool. So what you do is once you've created your own server, then you wanna go here and you wanna click the plus button and use apps, I believe, I believe, I believe. No, you wanna right click here. No, you wanna go up here, click server settings and find the app directory think here and look for Midjourney. Is that how we do it? Yeah. And now you can put the Midjourney bot, you can add the Midjourney bot into your server and you can use it here in this peace and quiet instead of the raging channel of noobs. So that's the first trick. And now that you have your thing set up here and you can, you know, not have to look at everybody's insanity, what you do is you can start creating things. So let's take a look here at chat GPT real fast and using a nobody ever knows how to pronounce this one apron using the apron extension 
we can look for mid journey prompts, mid journey for all you uncreative people like me. Let's go topic all mid journey prompt generators, right? Okay, cool. So you can see that there's a different couple different kinds here. Wallpaper maker, generic presets, mid journey material fantasy, effortless and universal mid journey prompt generator. Great. So let's just say um, flamingo and see what it does for me. So it always starts with forward slash imagine a flamingo, pink feathers, long legs, curved neck, standing gracefully, tropical lagoon, clear water, palm trees, sandy shore. Okay, let's see what happens if I do that one. So now I can copy this. I can go back. I can do the imagine thing and then the prompt. And I click enter and mid journey is going to start to create the image. And as it does this, I can queue up more. I can queue up more images or I can watch it kind of you know, generate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to queue up a couple more images. And let's do another one here. Let's say, let's see if we can actually come up with something kind of cool. Probably not. Let's try this one, Mid Journey 5, six different prompts. All right. How about a gigantic flying sandwich monster battling Godzilla? And this is going to give me like five or six prompts, I guess. So here we have Mid Journey has rendered four images. And at this point, you can decide if you want to, you know, get the fuck out of here and go eat some Chipotle, or if you want to continue on with one of these images. So if you like one, let's say you like, I don't know, they're all kind of cool. Let's say you like this one. You have four choices here. You can U1 or V1, which is upscale the first image, or get varieties or different versions of the first image, or you can do the same for the other one. So this is image one, two, three, and four. So let's go with this one here. Let's upscale the first one, see what happens there. And let's get some variety on the fourth one, or variations. So it's gonna ask me to add more stuff here. And what I'm gonna say is uh, neon lights, mm, 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 funky sun glasses and disco. That's what I always revert to anyways. Meanwhile, we have our thing generating over here, the battle of the sandwich the flying sandwich in Godzilla. Let's see what we like here. Salvador Dali sandwich in Godzilla. Nah, Let's just go with this one. Boom. All right, so now as you can see, we have our other images starting to generate here. So this was the, the neon lights, funky sunglasses. So it, it added some neon stuff to, or variety to the picture. This is starting to look kind of cool down here. So I'm gonna choose this one, and I'm gonna click upscale on that one. And like now we have like four things going on. So imagine like you having four or five things going on, plus like 160 other people having four or five things going on in that newbie channel, it's just outrageous. So as these things, well, these are looking kind of insane. That looks kind of cool. I could see that on the wall of like a, like a, a house in Palm Springs or something. Hmm? Kind of nice. That looks crazy. Holy shit. Oh my god. This is absolutely crazy. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go with this one, and maybe that. Oh, that one's kind of crazy too. Let's just do them all. All right, and there's one other thing I'm going to show you while all this stuff generates the most creepy insanity I've ever seen in my life um, is that you can use pictures of yourself or whatever and you can mid journey those. So let me go find a picture of myself real quick. I'll just use. Da, 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 da. I don't know. Where's like a super normal one? Impossible. It doesn't exist. Here we go, this old one. So if you have a picture of yourself or something like that, you can drop in an image. And then once the image is in there, click on it, right click, and click copy link. 
And now, down here, you do the imagine thing. You click paste, and you delete everything back to the question mark. And then you put a comma in, and then you put your prompt. So let's get a prompt for that. Hmm, what should we do? What should we do? I don't know. Make up something interesting for a mid journey of me. And first, I'm going to ask this to chat GPT just normal. Or I guess not. Oh my god. The Enchanted Forest. Here we go, guys. We got to go with it, though. It's, it's happening. That's pretty sweet. If you like it, you can click open up in the browser and you can save that thing. And then you can be like, put your name on it and be like, I, I drew this. Holy crap. Look at that. That's wild. I kind of want to take that same prompt with some of the, ah, uh, shit, with some of the other, um, what, what is this? I kind of want to try some of these other ones here. Let's try the uh, Salvador Dali one, because if that one's, if that one's creepy, I can't even imagine. Ah, oh, we got to do it. We got to finish this first. We got to finish this first. Okay. Whatever. I'm just going to say, uh, as a super hero, cliche, whatever, um, Fighting a crew of criminals at the bank. That's going to be. But let's try this one. So now we're going to go with this uh, flying sandwich. Oh, this is a Pixar Studio style one. Awesome. We'll try that one. And we will try the. Where's Dali? Dali. And then we'll leave it at that because now you have all the tricks of the trade. The only other trick is to not spend all your time that you should be working doing this because that happens too. Mid Journey is notorious at doing everything awesome and then as soon as I put in a picture of myself, it's just ridiculous. So let's see how these come out. Like what? Like what? <laughs> in what planet? Oh God. Terrible. Terrible. But there you go. It used me and it put me in something, right? Hopefully you can be a little more creative than that. Maybe this picture is just not great. Let's try it. It's got to be. It's probably the picture. It's probably the picture. Let's do a new one. How about this one? I'll use the exact same prompt. Just to be fair, imagine, paste, delete everything back to the question mark. Not nearly as weird. Honestly, I'm much more comfortable with these ones than that first that first thing. Like, look at that. That is messed up. That is messed up. If you saw that, you would freak out. That's pretty crazy. Let's get some variations on this one. I don't really know what to say, but I'll just, instead of saying, like, uh, temperature is cool with bluish tint, I'm going to say, like, Extreme, vibrant, colors. Yeah, it just, it hates me. I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> okay. That's about it. That's about it. Let's just see how these last ones come out. These are ridiculous. That's cool though. Nice and serene. Let's see what's gonna come out here. And then I'll let you go. So remember, sign up for Mid Journey, get into Discord, get out of that insanity, that shit show of just, you got, I didn't even show you. Maybe you should sit in it for a little while just so you get the picture. Then you start your own server by going down here and clicking add your own server. And then 
you go up and you go to server settings and add the mid journey bot in and then you can start using the commands there's other commands too you can adjust personal settings and blending and there's there they keep coming out with more and more stuff so yeah yeah wild wild stuff so hope that was helpful see you on the flippity flip